Hi guys, good evening. Hello, good evening guys. Good evening. Good evening. Right, so welcome guys uh, to this module number four. As far as I see, as soon as I see, let me see. All of you are from one single company. That's great. So I guess, guys, you know each other, right? Or you have seen each other. That is good. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Okay, that's great. All right, guys, just to start, uh, my name is Juan Carlos, and I am going to be your uh, teacher for the rest of this module, all right? So I hope we can work together, you know, like get along in each class, uh, to be participative on every class, you know, like as I guess you have been, you know, like working on with the previous teachers in the previous modules. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is just to start, you know, like getting to know each other. That would be great. Yes, so. All right, so just give me one second. I am more people are just getting connected. All right, the first thing I would like to know, guys, are you co-workers, all of you? Do you know each other? Oh, that's cool. Did you guys understand what I said? Veo que todos son de la misma empresa. Uh, supongo que muchos se conocen, o la gran mayoría han estado en el mismo, los mismos uh, niveles pasados, right? That's going to be good, right? Ok, good. Ya yeah, vamos a conocernos entonces. That is great. All right, the first thing that I'm going to start just doing is just to start with the attendance list, right? And uh, then I'm just going to read a couple of words for you, something that you know is already. Okay, uh, let me see. Selena Janet. Is Selena here? No, okay, so she's not here. Uh, Christian Eduardo Rodriguez. Present teacher. Ah, okay. There you go. Dennis Gerardo. Present. Okay, great. Diana Carolina. Is Diana Carolina here? Let's see. Okay, so she's not here. Diego Jose. All right, so just give me one second, guys. Hmm. Okay, so Diego's not here. Edwin Ernesto Sanchez. Hmm, okay, good. Edwin Leonel Flores. Presente, teacher. Okay, great. Evelyn del Carmen. Present. Okay, excellent. Griselda Jamilet. Here. Okay, great. Jorge Antonio. Present. Okay, nice. Karen Lisset. Karen, Karen, all right, so she's not here yet. Carla Patricia. Hmm. Okay, so she's not here yet. Luis Humberto. Present teacher. Okay, good. Norma Jamilet. Present. Okay, excellent. 
Paulina Olimpia. Paulina Olimpia, let me see. All right, so apparently she is not here yet. Okay, let's move. Ronald Ulises. Present. Okay, nice. Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Okay, good. Walter Enrique. Present. Okay, nice. Wendy Beatriz. Present. Okay, great. Uh, let me see. Janira Isabel. Present. Okay, great. And the last one, Brenda Elizabeth. Present. Mm, okay, great. All right, guys. So basically, uh, when I introduced myself, there were not like the amount of students that are now in the class. As I said before, my name is Juan Carlos, and I am going to be your facilitator throughout this module, right? And uh, just talking a little bit about me, I live in San Miguel, right? I am like, what, 31 years old, and uh, I'm a I got a bachelor's degree in English. So now that's like just a brief introduction about myself. Now let's start with that just to break up with the ice on you guys. I would like to know, you know, like what is the area that Dice you work on? Hi, Paulina. Ah, okay. Okay. No problem. I am just going to uh, assign you the attendance here. Okay. No problem. Okay, as I said, Thank guys, you. I would like to know. All right, no problem. I would like to know a little bit about you. You just to start off with the class, you know. All right, so I'm gonna start with Ronald. So Ronald, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? So probably you and your classmates or uh, might may, may know each other, but since I don't know you guys, I would like to know a little bit about you. Okay, and I'm gonna start with you, Ronald. So just tell us where you live, what's your area that you work on and the company that you're working for, right? Uh, what you okay. like or what you don't like. Uh -huh. uh, este, hello, good evening. All right. Uh, my name is Ron. I live in San Juan Manualco. Uh, I work I work in Confección Ajiwa. I am 27 years old. Okay. Uh, no sé qué más decir. <laughs> right, like, like the, the activities that you like doing in your free time. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> Can you tell um, me just just like a couple of activities that you like doing in your free time? I love playing video games. I love playing video games. Okay. All right, good, good. Okay, great. Since you were the first one, I will give you the option, Ronald, to choose the next person to participate. Just tell me uh, which of your classmates you would like to go next. Brenda Seron. Okay, all right. <laughs> Por venir tarde. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right, Brenda. Just tell us a little bit about Good yourself. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, guys. My name is Brenda Elizabeth Seron Garcia. I live in Santiago Nonualco. Um, my job is 44. Okay, so you're 44 um, years old, all right. Um, my favorite 
with days Friday. Friday? Friday? Okay. Friday. It's, um, it's because I guess you don't work on Saturdays and Sundays. So that's why Friday is your favorite day. <laughs> oh, my, my day is Friday. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, my favorite activity is um, swing. Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. No problem. It's just, just a little bit about yourself. Okay. That's great. Great, Brenda. Help me at choosing the next participant, Brenda. I will give you the chance for uh, you to tell me who's next. Oh. <laughs> Walter Enrique. Mm, okay. Yeah. All right, Walter. Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening, evening, Brenda. Good evening, Walter. <laughs> okay. My name. Okay. My name is Walter Flores. I live in Zacatecoluca. I am mm, 27 years old. Uh, one of my hobbies is listening to music. Okay, that's nice. Okay, very good. So it's a pleasure to, to meet you. All right, good. Help me out choosing the next participant, okay? Um. Isabel. Isabel. All right, let me see. Where is Isabel? Hello, Hi. good evening. Okay, good evening. I am Isabel Manzano. Um, um, my favorite color is black. I live in, in Tecoluca, San Vicente. Okay. Uh, I work Confecciones y boa. My years old is um twenty nine. Oh, okay, you're twenty nine years old. All right. My hobby, favorite is listen to music and singer. All right. Is that a Guns N' Roses shirt? Yes, I love the rock. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. That is great. All right. Thank you, uh, Isabel. All right. Help me choosing the next participant, please. Uh, the next, Dennis Gerardo Garcia. Okay. Thank you. Dennis. Okay. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello. My name is Dennis Gerardo Vasquez Garcia. I am 25 years old. I am I live in Santiago de Nualco. My my workplace is Confecciones Quiboa. My favorite music is electronic. My I am what's that? This is fun. <laughs> That's it? All right. Okay, no problem. That's good. All right. That's great, Denise. Thank you. Okay. Tell me I choose in the next one. Christian Rodriguez. Okay. Thank you. Christian. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, my name is Christian. And I am... 29, I work in Confecciones Hiboa, and it's it all. <laughs> and that's it? Okay, good, good. All right, no problem. All right, who's next? Christian? Um, Paulina Olympia. Okay, thank you. Paulina. Hi, class. Hi. My name is Paulina Ramirez. I am 21 years old. I live in San Luis Talpa. In my free time, I like 
dancing. And uh, I, <laughs> I drink so. Okay, okay, that's <laughs> good. Okay, great, great. Good, help me choose in the next one. Uh, Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn. Hello, my Hi. name is Evelyn. I live in San Pedro Mazahuat. Okay. Uh, I like to listen to music. Okay. I like to, to be my house. <laughs> uh, I like to eat. Okay. Uh, I finish. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you like eating. All right. Me too, man. I love eating. Okay. Great. So who's next, Evelyn? Um, uh, choose one person with the camera off. Karen. Karen. Uh, let me see. What is Karen? Karen. I am in Karen Blanco. You there, Karen? I'm here. Um, Hi. good night, everyone. Hi, uh, good evening. My name is My name is Karen. I am twenty four year old. I live in El Rosario de la Paz. I work for Confecciones Giboa. Uh, my in my free time, I like listen to music okay. and watch videos. Oh, and watching videos. Okay. All right. That's good. Perfect. Thank you, Karen. All right. Help me out just in the next person to introduce itself. Karen? Um... No sé quién ya pasó, teacher. <laughs> Alguien que tenga la cámara apagada. Uh, Evelyn García. Uh, I think Evelyn was already participated. Evelyn, did you participate already? I don't remember. Yes. All right, so she participated already. So let me see. I'm going to choose the, the next person. Uh, let me see. Jorge. Jorge. Okay. Hello, guys. My name is Jorge Nasol. My uh, I'm from San Jose Abajo. I work in Confecciones Giboa. I like to play football. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> and that's it? Okay, good. All right, that's nice. Thank you, Jorge. Let me see. What else is missing? Let me see. Um, Sonia. Ah, Sonia. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi. Good evening. My mm -hmm. name is Sonia Santa Maria. I am 27 years old. I live in Zacatecoluca. I work at Confecciones Hua. Okay, so you're Only uh, that. Okay, thank you, Sonia. All right, who else is missing? Uh, let me see. Griselda, I think Griselda has not participated. Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Griselda Velasquez. I live in La Paz. I work at Confecciones Higoa. I like to read. And in the future, I would like to visit another country. Mm -hmm. And it's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, good. It's a pleasure too. Thank you, Griselda. Let me see. Norma, did you participate already? 
I'm not very sure about it. Norma Jamilet, are you there? Hello. Good Hi. evening. Good evening. My name is Norma Beltran. I am 29 years old. Okay. I live in Santiago Nonualco. I work at Confección Esquivoa. All right. Uh, I like listening to music and watching movies. Okay, good. Thank you, Norma. All right, let me see. There's just a couple of you missing. Uh, let me see. Mr. Padilla Morales. You're missing. Hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Padilla Morales. I am 27 years old. I live in San Vicente. I work in Confección de Jiboa. In my free time, I like uh, watch TV and listen to music. And I go to the beach. Finish. Mm, okay, okay. That's good. That's good. Thank you, mister. Uh, let me see. And I think this is like the last one. Diego Jose. Uh, hello, good evening. Uh, my name is Diego Jose Alvarado Mos. Uh, I twenty five. I am twenty five years old. Mm -hmm. Um, I work in Confección de Jiboa. And yeah, finish. Okay, all right. There you go. Okay, great. All right, so I think, uh, let me see if somebody else missing. No, I think we got them all. Okay, estamos todos. All right, guys, that is a pleasure to meet you all. Now, before moving on with this, uh, no, in the class, I would like to show you guys something that it's basically shown at the beginning of every module is just a couple of rules that you know already about the course all right like what to do what not to do what is allowed what is not allowed right and the requirements just to you know like approve this module so that's just a little bit about what i'm going to show you so just give me one second Mm. All right, guys, can you confirm if you can see my presentation on screen? Confirm si pueden ver la si pueden ver la pantalla. Yes. Okay. Great. Yes. Yes, teacher. All right, so basically, uh, welcome to this module uh, number four, right? So you are on two more modules away and you finish the basic level. That is nice, guys. That is great. You're going good. So as I said, guys, this is just a couple of rules that you know already, but, you know, it's really necessary. Uh, you know, to take a look at them at the beginning of every uh, module, right? So this is just a little bit about me, right? And the experience that I got uh, working with different companies and everything, right? It's just for you guys to get a, not to know a little bit about the teacher that is going to be with you throughout this module, right? So after this general information, about me, let's start with what it really matters. Okay, vamos a comenzar con los requerimientos, right? Esto es algo que, pues, ustedes ya conocen, right? Pero igual siempre es necesario y mandatorio, okay? El poderlos revisar al inicio de cada módulo, okay? Entonces vamos a repasar un poco sobre los requerimientos que Insafor nos pide 
para poder bueno, completar de mejor manera el módulo. Ronald, ¿me podría ayudar a leer, por favor? ¿Todos o solo uno? Ah, solo uno. Ok. Nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. Ok, great. Es algo que igual, guys, eh, siempre creo que se los han venido repitiendo, es algo necesario, uh, puesto que en Safor, eh, de esa manera, digamos que audita de, me de mejor manera okay, a cada uno de ustedes. Recuerden que las clases igual están siendo grabadas y pues, así mismo auditadas por el Safor y así de esa manera, you know, like, tener su información a a completa, por así decir, right en el caso de los oyentes, se agrega la palabra oyente al final del nombre, pero creo que acá no vamos a tener oyentes, por lo que veo, así que estamos bien. Right? Y otro eh, factor bastante importante es el uso de la cámara. Okay? Yo entiendo de que a veces, pues, digamos que podemos eh, estar haciendo otras cosas o estar en el trabajo. O simplemente no la queremos encender. Pero recuerden que es parte fundamental de, okay, de las clases. Right? Y que pues nos pide, igual el Instafor, right? mantener la cámara encendida lo más que podamos. O por lo menos también cuando pasemos asistencia, el que puedan tener, por lo menos en ese momento, para los que les dificulta bastante el tener la cámara encendida, al menos en ese momento, el poderla tener encendida. ¿Ok? Uh, y luego otro aspecto importante es minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. ¿En qué aspecto? A veces, digamos que estamos explicando un tema o algo por el estilo y si tenemos el micrófono encendido con, digamos, eh, un tanto de ruido, pues se nos dificultará el poder eh, entender o escuchar muy bien. Y a veces pues se han dado casos en los que tenemos el micrófono encendido y escuchamos conversaciones que no deberíamos escuchar, ¿verdad? Entonces, así que por experiencia de otros módulos, ah, así yo tengo unos cuidados con lo del micrófono on. ¿okay? Y luego la participación activa. That's something really important. Guys. Entonces es algo que igual me gusta que eh, en los módulos que, que suelo tener se pueda dar. ¿okay? Que participemos lo más que podamos. Recuerden que entre más participamos, más podemos practicar y, pues, por ende, mejor nos vamos a desenvolver en cuanto a la fluidez y eh, el vocabulario. Right? Good. Ahora bien, con relación a la asistencia, es igual, otro aspecto que, pues, ustedes ya conocen, right? Eh, el INSAFOR nos pide la asistencia al 100% de las clases, right? Y pues la asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también se completa con la clase completa. ¿Y qué se refiere con esto? Que hay muchos, uh, digamos, participantes que a veces uh, solo se conectan y hasta ahí, right? They don't participate. Entonces, sí, la idea es que todos podamos participar. En este caso, la asistencia pues, se va a tomar en dos ocasiones, right? Al inicio de la clase, ¿ok? Y ya para finalizar la clase. So that, that it will be. Ahí con tu pequeño mistake. Y es a las 7 y a las 9, right? That will be like that. Y se tomará como válido al escuchar al participante decir presente o present, right? Y tener, como les mencionaba anteriormente, la cámara encendida, right? Eh, otro aspecto bastante importante es el uso eh, de las sesiones de uno a uno, ¿ok? ¿Para qué nos sirven estos? es básicamente tener un pequeño espacio de manera personalizada para aclarar dudas, right, o consultas que podamos tener con relación a la clase que se ha visto se, es, eh, en esa videoconferencia o clases anteriores. Entonces, um, al final de cada clase, me voy a quedar con uno de ustedes y lo vamos a hacer por orden de lista, right, para tal vez aclarar cualquier duda que pueda surgir y pues tal vez no haya sido solucionado o aclarado en la clase. Right? Y pues como ya sabrán, los permisos con relación a este, a este tipo de cursos de acuerdo en Sofor, pues no están disponibles. Right? 
Ok, eso con relación a la asistencia. Ahora bien, con relación a las tareas y evaluaciones, right? Es otro aspecto bastante importante. Y dice que es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio en tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso de manera satisfactoria. Um, Todos los que estamos acá ya están agregados en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Hay algún participante acá que no lo esté todavía? Ok, supongo que todos ya están. Oh, that's perfect. Eso está perfecto. Ok, recuerden que las tareas pues se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Ahora bien, eh, todos tenemos ya acceso a la plataforma, al módulo. ¿O hay alguien que todavía no le aparezca asignado el módulo? A mí todavía no me aparece. A mí no me aparece, teacher. No, ok, Brenda, Maria. ok, great. Al finalizar la clase, por favor, me mandan eh, su nombre al, al chat de WhatsApp, me mandan su nombre y me recuerdan que no tienen asignado el módulo para pasar el reporte de soporte técnico y se los puedan asignar a más tardar mañana, ok, porque sí es necesario que podamos ya tener acceso a, al módulo, ok, please. All right, so that is like con relación a las tareas, right? Y luego dice, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada martes en este caso, que serían los días en los que vamos a estar finalizando semana, bueno, al menos las primeras dos, right? A la medianoche, ya que ese registro recuerden que es enviado al ISAFOR de manera semanal, right? Entonces, finalizando semana, en este caso, si no hay ningún inconveniente, el próximo martes, estaríamos finalizando, right? Y de ese modo, pues, eh, esperaría que ya las tareas, pues, al menos de la 1 a la 5, ya estén cubiertas para ese día, ¿ok? O a más tardar antes de la medianoche. Luego dice la fecha límite para terminar el examen de medio curso o el midterm, right? Algo que ustedes ya conocen. En este caso será el martes 12 de septiembre, right? Antes de la medianoche. Y luego la fecha límite para terminar el examen final o el final exam sería el miércoles 27 de septiembre. Okay. Recuerden que acá eh, durante septiembre vamos a tener un día que no vamos a tener clases, que sería el 15 de septiembre. Entonces por eso se va a correr un día más. Right? Y finalizaríamos, si no hay ningún inconveniente, el miércoles 27 de septiembre. Right? Y pues, como ustedes saben, el manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma y asimismo también de el grupo de WhatsApp, que si no me equivoco, hace un par de horas y los compañeros eh, se los compartieron a ustedes. Okay, así que si no lo tienen, me notifican y lo volvemos a reenviar al, al grupo okay, para que lo podamos descargar. Todo, creo que acá estamos todos claros con el cuarto, la, en cuanto a las tareas y evaluaciones, right? Good. Y pues luego, pues algunos, like, you know, like, things that we got on, on Zoom, my button is silencio, mute, camera, chat, break on rooms. Cuando nos vamos a trabajar a las salas o los break on rooms, remember, que toda vez que podamos tener consultas y yo no esté precisamente en la sala, ahí tienen ustedes un pequeño botoncito de ask for help, right? Y eso igual automáticamente me envía una notificación que necesitan ayuda en el instante, right? That is just a couple of, uh, you know, like, guidelines, guys, and rules that we got for a class, right? Ahora bien, hoy sí vamos a comenzar con el desarrollo de los contenidos que vamos a estar desarrollando. All right, so just give me one second. I need to share with you. The topic that we got tonight. Okay, so I just brought a short presentation related to a topic that we are going to be discussing. All right, so this is just going to be the first topic, guys, that we're going to be talking about, right? 
So it's just going to be right how to use count and non count nouns. That's going to be the first topic that we are going to be talking about. Creo que ya vimos parte de eso en módulos anteriores. Ya tenemos alguna idea de qué estamos hablando acá, right? So remember that when we talk about countable nouns, it's just those nouns that we can count them, right? With numbers, right? And the uncountable nouns are, on the other hand, those kind of nouns that we cannot count. So, but let's take a look a little bit about the differences on they both. So what's the most relevant that we got in the class agenda? All right, so we got a warm welcoming. We were just like sharing a little bit about uh, us before uh, starting the class. Okay, now we're going to start with a couple of questions that are at the beginning of the manual, right? Just for us to discuss. Then we're going to see some vocabulary practice. And then we are going to start discussing the two structures that are related to countable and uncountable nouns, which are how much and how many. I think it's something that you guys know already so it's not going to be that difficult to you and then we are going to finish working in a couple of exercises related to the topic in the manual right so this is pretty much what we have for the rest of the class okay so let's start with that just a couple of questions to discuss all right Dennis could you please help me out reading this question this is going to be the first question to discuss. Uh, it's for me? Yeah. Read, please. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? No, Okay, great. Generally, guys, when you go shopping, what do you like buying? Or what do you go shopping for? What are like the most common items that you generally buy? Manicure. Many? Um, what do you guys say? All right, so that's a question that appears in the manual, guys. So what do you generally buy when you go shopping? That's a kind of weird question, but anyway. When I go shopping, uh -huh. games and food. Okay, all right, mostly nice food. Ah, right? clothes. Uh, clothes. Mm -hmm. I okay. Like, I like shoes. Clothes. Okay, shoes, clothes. A couple of you might say food, yeah. all right? <laughs> okay. And guys, how much, especially for women, how much time do you spend when you go shopping clothes? How much time that, that do, do you take uh, when you go shopping clothes? That's a question mostly for women. Because men are more practical. We're more practical. We just uh, spend uh, just a couple of minutes on something that we like. We buy it and that's it. But women are different. Women take a long time trying to choose the best clothes, right? And sometimes they don't even buy them, right? How much time, guys, do you spend uh, when you go shopping, especially clothes? Yes. All right, Evelyn, how much time does it take you uh, when you buy, uh, go and buy clothes? Uh, all the day. The whole day? All the day. <laughs> okay. The whole day. So I guess you go jumping on every store uh, looking for something that you really like. Uh. Uh, Supongo que no solo va a una, a una sola tienda. Ah, okay. A muchas. Yeah. 
I can tell it's normal on you guys. Okay, there you go. What about you, Yanira? Does it take a long time to you when you go shopping? Mm. Me está preguntando que si cuánto bueno. tiempo le toma cuando va a comprar especialmente ropa, right? Si se tarda todo el día, como dijo Evelyn, si es bien selectiva, <risa> si dice, ah, no, esto no me gusta, me gusta en otro color, así que, nada, me voy a otra tienda. <risa> so, no, con la ropa no, con los zapatos sí, the shoes. Ah, with the shoes. The yeah. whole day, for real. And do you, do you go alone when you go shopping like, in, in situations like that? Do you generally go alone or you go with another person? Alone. Alone? Casi siempre soy como muy, muy, muy delicada. Me gusta ver como muchas opciones, la calidad, eh, el país de donde está hecho, los really? materiales, todo eso. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Me gustaría ser así en mi caso. Yo solo digo, ah, me quedan. Genial, me los llevo. <ríe> ok, ok, Marín. Ok, ok. Son los de Vietnam. Ok. Tipo casual en mi talla, listo. Ok, ok. La woman la woman es especial. That is good, man. That's Para good. Le, le den un buen confort, no olvide que tiene que usar media talla más para que tengan una movilidad de los dedos. Porque si no, se le van a lastimar los pies y se le van a lastimar las uñas y el calzado le va a durar menos. Así que tiene que buscar que sea de Vietnam y usar siempre un poquito más grande que pueda mover los deditos para, para que tenga calidad y confort todo el día. You know what? You're right. Sabe que sí tiene razón. La última vez que fui a comprar un par de zapatos, les compré y dije, ah, no, me quedan. Genial. I'm taking them. <ríe> Al siguiente día que los, los usé, me quedaban apretados. Y yo, what? ¿Cómo es posible? All right. And you're right. In that situation, yeah, man. You are right. Okay, good. Uh, Brenda, what about you, Brenda? Let me see if she, if she got an, a, a different way of thinking. How much time does it take you, Brenda, when you go shopping? Mm. How much time do you, do you spend? Are you very selective like uh, Isabel is? Time. The most time. A long time also? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The whole day? Mm. Totally. I am. Uh -huh. I am come. Yes. Yes. Oh, sí. Okay. <laughs> me gusta mirar. <laughs> me gusta probarme el todo. Buscar las mejores ofertas. Okay. Okay. All right. That's good. Y, y tener muchas opciones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y eso sí es tener mucha paciencia también, right? You have to be looking for <laughs> different options and everything. Okay, that's good. That's good. Les ha pasado que se han, se han echado todo un día looking for what you really want y no lo encuentran al final. <laughs> yes, Something yes. happens. Something happens. <laughs> y a veces Nos vamos pone... a comer y ahí regresamos. Oh my God. Mi esposa me pasó una vez que comenzó a buscar en la tienda un su dichoso vestido y le pareció bonito una primera opción justo a la entrada. Y luego dijo, no, voy a buscar otras opciones. Se echó dos horas y media en la tienda buscando otras opciones para quedarse con el primer vestido que vio. Y yo así como que, ¿Estás serio? Ah, but, you know, uh, those are like ways. Okay. But let me see. Let's move on the other hand. What about the men? Diego, do you spend the whole day when you go shopping? Especially to buy clothes and everything?
we are men, así que yeah, I, I, I understand that we are more practical on that, right? So how much time do you that does it take you? ¿Cuánto tiempo le toma a usted? Por lo general. No, que una media hora o una hora. Ok. Yo diría que hasta mucho más, ok. Half an hour, one hour. Ok. Good, good. Ronald, what about you? Uh, 30 minutes and one, one hour. 30 minutes, one hour. All right. So you see. Jesus, we don't, we don't lose Simple. that much time, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, great. So you see, just one more participant in here. Jorge, in your case, how much time does it take you when you go shopping? <clears throat> it takes my, it takes my life and over to show. I mean, how much time? Mm -hmm. eh, poco tiempo para comprar en 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Ah, okay. All right. So in here is like not that much time, yes. right? Not in comparison to ladies in here. Okay. They are like very selective. Yes. Okay, good. He notado que a veces cuando ya compran algo bien bonito, sí, dicen, ay, no, no me gusta. Y no es like, ¿y por qué la compró? Ah, <laughs> uh, but generally happens with women. Generally happens with women. I used to have that, that problem with uh, my wife. Solía decir, no, no, no tengo que ponerme como con más de una docena de vestidos. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. Okay, great. All right, guys. It says, provide a list of at least four products you buy every time you go shopping. Generally, guys, in, and here is not only, uh, you know, like when you go shopping, uh, clothes and everything like that, or stuff like that. What do you generally, this is for the ones who have not participated, okay? What do you generally buy when you go shopping? Paulina. In your case, oh. can you can you mention at least three things that you generally buy when you go shopping? Um, chicken. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, t-shirts. Okay. Mm, a hat. <laughs> okay, you like hats. And and fish and fish all right okay all right so that's like 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 very common on you great uh let me see now i'm gonna be asking to people who got the cameras off uh let me see norma what about you yes all right what can you mention at least two or three items that you generally buy when you go shopping? Uh, tour. Mm -hmm. um, dress. Yeah, okay. And pounds. Mm, okay. All right. That's normally what you generally buy. All right. Good. Thank you. Let me see, just one more participant in here. Karen, what about you? Um, when I go to shopping, I like buy clothes, clothes uh, shoes, okay. and makeup. Ah, I love okay. makeup. Ah, okay. You love makeup. All right. All right. 
There you go. Thank you. Okay, so basically, right, uh, you find like different options. If you're talking about like thanks for the house, it might be like typically what we go like every week is just to buy food, right? Uh, but also there are people that like buying all things, like including clothes, right? Okay, good. Now let's start with a short vocabulary, guys, that you have in the manual, right? But just let's take a look in here a little bit. Right. So you got the first one in here. Size. Right? So remember what? When it, when we talk about size, what do you think we're talking about? What is size, guys? Taya. Uh, yeah. Okay, it might be Taya, right? Tamaño. Okay. And then we got wave, right? This is just another one. Wave. And here is when we talk peso. about el peso, right? Yeah, good. And then we got the price, right? Generally, all right, the price. Peso. Okay, good. Does it happen to you guys, like when you do really like something, but you found that then like super expensive or very expensive, do you buy it anyways? Cuando ustedes, like, les gusta algo, okay, pero es caro, igual lo compran o esperan que esté en oferta. Hay que esperar las ofertas, teacher. Wait for the offers. Sometimes. <laughs> 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 en no se pueden oferta. Es un momento que no se puede después. Ah, ok. All right. That's one. Pero ustedes no son de los que creen en, pedimos, en, en, en el viernes. Pedimos rebajas como todos los rodríguez. <laughs> ah, well, that's good. That's good. That's good. Pedimos. Right. Okay. That's one option. Good. Pero no son los que esperan a, a noviembre para el famoso Semana Negra. Yes. A ah, ver. Well, eso es. Have you seen que eso? Todo el año. Ah, exactly. Pero han visto que a veces es una gran mentira. Porque a, veces, porque regularly, a veces si ve un par de zapatos, 80 dólares, a un, a un, a un mes normal. For example, this month, right? Lo que hacen es que ya antes de noviembre o a principios de noviembre lo suben a 100 y ya luego para la dark weekend, right? Lo ponen a precio en rebaja, antes 100 dólares, ahora 80. Es lo mismo. Right. I don't generally I don't like rely on, on, on those kind of days. Okay. But sí, si man no es una pregunta, teacher. ¿Ah? Yo todo man? el año vengo viendo el, el precio. De si man no va a estar hablando, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, man, si man is one of them. Jesus. Uh, it generally happens. <laughs> y hay otras que no las vamos a mencionar, ¿verdad? Porque, nah. <laughs> Porque, nah. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. Dimensions. Right, so we're talking about the dimensions of products generally, right? When we buy dimensiones. Okay. And then we got, when it comes to devices, the battery life, right? So sometimes, like, we are, like, very uh, attached to devices that got a long life uh, battery, right? Okay, so it's just, just um, you know, a part of the vocabulary that, uh, as I said, we got in the manual. Okay, great. Let's move on, guys. Let's move on. Um, at the end of uh, the class, I am going to upload this presentation. I am going to upload it on the WhatsApp group, okay? So that way you can have it in there. So that way you don't have like to be ready like, like so fast. Okay, storage. You know what is this? Storage? What is the storage, guys? 
almacenamiento. En bodega, almacenamiento, yeah. right? Almacenar, bodegar algo, right? Especially the products. Here it comes like when uh, companies, right, buy products and they got their own, uh, you know, warehouse to store uh, the products or material that they probably need in order to, you know, like work. All right. And then we got the function, right? This is like how something works, right? Aquí es cuando algo funciona, right? Función. That's function. And then we got warranty. All right. So I guess in here, everybody knows what the word warranty means. Do you generally, when do you generally guys buy products like devices or TVs or something like that? Do you extend your warranties on those kind of devices? Son de los que extienden garantías? O la que viene. Yeah. Lo que viene. En la que viene, yeah. All right. Uh, it happened to me like it's like sometimes it's like kind of useless to, to be spending on extra warranty aunque en algunos casos es, es bastante útil right but it's like extra money yeah it's like okay good this is just like a couple of uh, words that we got and then we're going to check out on uh the manual because we got some definitions in there that i need you to work on Okay, now let's move. Now let's talk a little bit about countable and uncountable nouns, right? Known as count and non-count nouns, right? So you must know, guys, uh, what is this about? Okay, Paulina, can you please help me out reading this definition about countable and uncountable nouns? Yes. Nouns can be countable or uncountable. Countable nouns can be countable. For example, an apple, two apples, three apples, etc. And countable nouns cannot be counted. For example, air, rice, water, etc. Etc. All right. Thank you, Paulina. So as it says in there, it says noun can be countable or uncountable, right? So we got two categories on this one. The countable ones, uh, this is a little bit redundant, but are the ones that we can count, right? Like, for example, we got an apple, a cell phone, right? A computer, something that might be countable, right? A pen, exactly. Thank you, Dennis, right? A student, right? On the other hand, the uncountable ones are basically the ones that cannot be counted right like for example we cannot count the air right <laughs> that would be like kind of impossible or uh, rice the rice cannot be countable the water cannot be countable any other one that you might know that can be uncountable ¿Qué otro puede ser incontable? can you mention any anyone that you know that might not be countable mm -hmm. Sugar, all right, salt, all right, milk can be another one, right, uncountable, all right, the, okay, exactly, that's another one, the word money, la palabra dinero, right, money, in general, es incontable, it's uncountable, so we can count coins, we can count dollars, right? So we can count euros, but the word money in general cannot be countable. It's uncountable, right? Okay, great. Now that we got an idea about what is that, let's move on to the next uh, slide. So I don't know if you're copying this information because I see a couple of you copying, guys. No sé si están copiando esta información, veo que algunos lo están haciendo. Eh, no sé si ya terminaron o puedo moverme. Yes. Ok, yes. great. Let's move. Ahora bien, vamos a ver un par de estructuras. We're going to be discussing a couple of structures. 
that can be used with countable and uncountable nouns, especially when we ask questions, right? And the first structure that we are going to be discussing, it's going to be how much, right? So that's what it is, how much. All right, so what is how much, guys? Creo que esta estructura ya la han visto antes. What is how much? How much is mostly used with uncountable nouns, right? It means cuánto, right? That's, that's like the meaning of this, cuánto. All right. And let's start with the structure that we generally use when it comes to questions. And this is the structure, guys, that we generally use when it comes to questions. How much plus uncountable nouns that in this case we can use any word that is uncountable. Then we can start with the auxiliary verb do or does. Remember, do when it comes to first person and plurals, and does when it comes to third person singular, right? Plus the subject, remember, the subject can be any pronoun, like I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, or a proper noun, like Jorge, like Carla, right? When it comes to uh, people's name. And then at the end, we generally use the verb, okay? The one that shows the action in the question. All right, so basically this is the structure and we got an example, of course. So take a look at this example that we got in here. Sonia Guadalupe, can you please help me out reading the question? How much water do you drink? Okay, thank you. How much water did you drink? Okay, great. Uh, Selena Janet, can you please help me out reading the answer to that question? Uh, Selena, are you there? Hi, Hi. Can you please help me reading the answer to that question? Podría ayudar a leerme la la respuesta a esa pregunta, por favor. I drink a lot of water. Ah, okay. Thank you, Sonia. So, Zelina, I don't know if she got issues with the eater and or something like that. But thank you anyways. All right. There you go. It says, I drink a lot of water, right? So, in there, we are just giving a general, a general answer, right? Ahí podemos responder de manera específica. Usando una unidad de medida, right? In este caso, podemos inclusive mencionar like, like by portion or by uh, um, a structure. Like in this case, a bottle of water, a glass of water, right? And it can be countable when it comes that way. But in here, we're talking about water in a general way, right? A lot of water. Okay. The second question. Uh, let me see. Walter. Tell me a rating, please. Uh, Walter, are you there? How much does the computer cost? Uh, okay, thank you. Here it comes, like when we talk about money, right? How much does the computer cost? Okay, so in this case, it says, Brenda. <laughs> okay, help me out reading, Brenda, the answer. It's, it's called 
Ay, no sé cómo se dice. Ok. 500. 500. 500. 500 dollars. It, it costs 500 dollars. Ok, there you go. Thank you. It costs 500 dollars, right? So, mm -hmm. there it's when it comes to uncountable nouns, right? Ok, right, guys. There you go. Now, uh, let me see. Ok, good. Can you guys write down one example using an uncountable nouns? ¿Podrían hacerme una pregunta, por favor? Solamente la pregunta. ¿Podrían formularmela? Please. It can be about anything, but it has to be an uncountable noun included. Like, for example, I can ask Janita, sure. hey, Janita, how much does that shirt cost? Ajá. Uh -huh. Tengo una pregunta. Ajá, uh -huh. Adelante. En este tema me cuesta un poquito entenderlo, pero uh -huh. entonces, ¿cuándo es que se usa el money? How many? Porque en, ajá, en las dos preguntas eh, entiendo bien que es lo contable e incontable. ¿Y el many? Mm, en este caso, ahorita solo estamos con lo incontable. Más adelante, en las diapositivas, le voy a presentar la estructura de cuándo usar how many. Porque ahí sería con nombres no. contables meramente. Acá nada más es con nombres que no podemos contar. ¿Ok? Mm. Ya. Yeah. Okay, okay. ok, gracias. All right. Good. Y para... Let me see. A ver, para que no nos cueste tanto el, el vocabulario, ¿podrían darme una pequeña lista de nombres incontables que ustedes sepan? Vamos a escribirlos acá. So, for you to have an idea, guys. <laughs> right, so we can account... The... Which one? The star. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. Cars are uncountable. All right. Oil. Milk. Right? So, this okay. is like... Which one? Flour. Coffee. Coffee. Flower. 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 Well, flowers can be countable. ¿Qué más no podemos contar? Hair. Okay. Hair. Uh, any other one that we cannot count? Lips. Do you know what is this? ¿Saben qué significa esto? Lips. Vida. Mm, no. Niveles. Mm, no. Este. All right. La forma singular es left. What is that? Oh, that. Oh, that. Exactly. All right. This is leaves es hojas de árbol. Ahí cuando hablamos de un modo general, pues, obviamente, ya no es contable. As I said, money, clothes, it's also uncountable, la palabra ropa también es incontable, right, what no. else, stand, Paris. love, okay, so we got something like that, ahí tenemos una idea de lo que podemos colocar en una pregunta. All right, now formulate. When you termine, me lo saber, right? As soon as you finish with the question, no. let me know. Yes. Okay.
There you go. ¿Hay alguien que todavía la está haciendo? Para los que tienen la cámara apagada, ¿me confirman si ya eh, terminaron su pregunta? You guys got the question? Sí. Ok. Great, I guess you have already finished. Ok, nice. Evelyn, I'm going to start with you, porque usted es la primera que me aparece acá en el recuadro, así que voy a comenzar con usted. Uh, can you please read the question? Quiero que lea su pregunta. And uh, Ronald Ulises, I want you, Ronald, to give an answer to Evelyn's question. Quiero que me le dé respuesta a la pregunta que va a hacer Evelyn. Go, Evelyn. Uh, uh, tengo una pregunta ¿Cómo digo este Dar El verbo Dar, give Dice ¿Sí? Es que mi pregunta es How much love do you Give mm -hmm. <laughs> That give. is give, give, dar eh, ¿Lo tiene escrito o se lo escribo acá? Ah. Ya lo tengo escrito. Solo ah, eso okay. me faltó. Ok. Entonces, Pero repita la pregunta, no please. <ríe> All right. That's good. Ok. How It's much ladies. love do you give? Uh -huh. How, How much... much love do you give? Ok. Excellent. Mister, answer the question. Lots of love. I give. I give lots of love. <laughs> okay, okay, good. I give a lot of love. <laughs> lots of love. Or tons of love. Or no love. All right? Okay, great. Thank you, Evelyn, for the question. Now, Ronald, read your question. And uh, Mr. Paria is going to answer. Uh, Mr. Parrias, how yeah. much paper do you want? <laughs> okay. Repeat. How much paper do you want? <clears throat> um... Bueno. Um... <risa> no, ya, ya le entendí la pregunta, ahora estoy formulando como la respuesta. You get different options. Uh... Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. A uh, lot of paper. Okay, but from the very beginning, I want, and then that one. I want a uh -huh. lot of paper. Okay, very good. I want a lot of paper. There you go. That is like, ah, quiero mucho papel, right? A piece of paper is like, ah, un pedazo de papel. Some paper, algo de papel, right? Okay, okay. great. Thank you, Ronald. Now, Mrs. Mr. Perea, let's read your question, and Wendy Beatriz is going to answer. Okay, Wendy Beatriz, how much flour do you need for the bread? Repeat. How much flour do you need for the bread? For, for the, the for the bread. Bread for the bread. How much flour mm -hmm. do you need for that bread? If you don't understand the question, uh, I am going to write it down in here. He said, how much flour do you need for the bread? Oops. For the bread. 
¿Cuánta harina necesita para el pan? Eh, three pounds. Okay, yes. so you will say, I need three pounds. Repeat. I need three pounds. Okay, great. There you go. Very good. Thank you for the question, mister. Now, Wendy, read your question, please, and Brenda will answer. Wendy, ¿podría leer su pregunta? How much money would you like in your world? Uh, would you like how much money would uh -huh. you like would you like to to get or would you like to to have uh, to have okay how much money would you like to have oh in this case what do you like to have would be great Brenda? Más de dinero o o o. ¿Cuánto dinero le gustaría tener? Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I need I need the necessary. The necessary. The necessary. The necessary. Mm, okay. And that necessary will be like a thousand dollars. The necessary un million de dollars. No más. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy, for the question. Okay, Brenda. Good, good. All right, Brenda. Read your question. Diego, answer the question. ¿A quién le pregunto? A Diego. To Diego. Okay. Oh, Diego, how much coffee do you, how much coffee do you need for the bread? Mm -hmm. One day. How much coffee do you need for the bread? ¿Cuánto café necesito para el desayuno acá? No, para el, para el, uh, para el día. Ah, for the day. I, I thought you would say for the bread. <laughs> okay. So it, it will be like, you don't like coffee? No. I don't like coffee. Are, are you serious? Diego? Por eso le pregunté, porque ya sé que no toma café. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, man. That's the most delicious thing all right, on earth. It wakes you up. Okay, well, that's good. That's okay. Thank you, Brenda. Now, Diego, read your question. Jorge, answer. Um, Jorge, how much star do you see in the sky? Repeat. How much star do you see in the, in the sky? ¿Cuántas estrellas necesito en el cielo? ¿Cómo es? Ser en el cielo. No, mucho la necesidad. Así quiere decir, ¿verdad? Perdón, teacher. I know, exactly. Estrellas? But that's, that's in an uncountable way. Uh -huh. Answer with an uh with a general way or with a quantifier. A lot of stars, many stars, right? Some stars, many stars. Okay, right. There you go. Thank you, Diego. Jorge, read the question that you have. And uh, Dennis, try to answer that question. 
Dennis, how much money do you need for the bus? I don't listen. Repeat again, Repeat me. How much money do you need for the bus? Okay, for the bus. bus. I need money. In this case, the answer can be countable, Dennis. I need one dollar, two dollars, three dollars. That's a specific answer. Es muy poco para mí. For the bus? Para el bus? Bueno, si, si es de lujo, pues. <laughs> um, I need to the... no. 30, 35 cents. Okay, for the bus. 35 cents. Okay, I mean, that's good. Bueno, por lo menos no cobran tanto. Acá, hasta hace poco cobraban una tarifa única. Si iba a tres cuadras, 50 centavos. <laughs> that was crazy. Man. Prefiero uh, caminar. <laughs> me too, man. Me too. I prefer walking. Yo así como que de pronto tengo ganas de hacer ejercicio. Okay, great. Dennis, <laughs> read your question. Carla, answer Dennis's question. Hi, Carla. Hi, Dennis. How much money do you see the Saturday? What? Repeat, how, Denise. How much more do you see? Mm -hmm. How much? How much money do you see? No, le no le that's, that's the question, no, Denise. Le how much money do you see? Uh, how much money do you see? How much more do you see? <laughs> What is the word that you that you're talking about? Because it's not money, man. I thought it was money. Luna luna. Do you see luna Uh, but the word moon it's it's countable. Ah. But then it's uh, moon is countable. <laughs> No, ah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. no, 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 listen, listen, podemos reformular la pregunta, ¿ok? Porque la palabra luna es contable, o sea, si la podemos contar, una luna, ¿ok? Va. Sería how many, no, sería how many. Exactly, Va, pero en este caso lo vamos a hacer así, mire, vamos a reformular la Denise, how much time do you see the moon? En este caso, ahí sí. How much time do you see the moon? ¿Cuántas lunas? No, aquí no es cuántas lunas, sino cuánto tiempo ve la luna. Uh, ya la palabra time uh, es one, min uh, one minute. One minute. One minute un minuto de la noche ah, <laughs> un minuto okay. de la noche no me queda tiempo de ver la luna. <laughs> I, and you like. Ya imagino el, el, el esposo, novio o, o, o el amigo ahí. Ay, mira qué bonita está la luna. Mira, mira qué bonita está la luna. Y así como que, ah, sí, sí, pero esta está ocupada. <laughs> ok. I understand you. All right. It might happen. Ok. There you go. Carla, now re read your question. And uh, Isabel will answer. Isabel, hello. Hey, Carla. How much do you how much do you walk every day? How much do you walk every day? Okay, all right. Yes. Repeat me. Repeat please. How much do you walk every day? How much do you uh, walk every day? Okay. Thirty minutes every day. Thirty minutes every day. Yes. Mm, okay. All right. Good. 
All right. Thank you, Isabel. Now, can you please read your question and uh, Paulina will answer? Paulina. Hello. <laughs> On your camera. Oh, How much money do you need to get? Uh, uh, who got the novela? Please <laughs> turn off the microphone. Uh -huh. <laughs> Repeat, please, Isa. <laughs> Isabel? How much drink, uh, how much coffee do you drink? Ah, okay. Um... <laughs> no me voy a decir que no te gusta porque te he visto. <laughs> Todo por obligación. <laughs> Paulina, you don't like coffee, Paulina. No, dice. Permítame, la voy a sacar. La, la voy a sacar ahorita. Un del grupo. <laughs> I drink coffee a bit. I drink a little bit of coffee. A little. Mm. ¿Y por qué no puedo usar a bit? Bit que no es poquito. Ya, ya, ya. A little bit. Es como po poquito o poco. Ah, ah, bueno. That, that's like an expression, right? A little bit of coffee. Okay, good. There you go. Thank you, Isabel. Now, Paulina, read your question. And I think Diego has not participated, so Diego will answer. Yeah, I participated. You participated? Ah, como tiene la cámara, se me Okay, good. Leonel, you haven't participated, right? Uh, no creo que Lionel no ha participado, así que go strike to Lionel. Paulina. Hi, Lionel. Que nos durmió, Lionel. <laughs> yeah, I think, she's, I, I think he's not there. Uh, Christian, did you participate already? No, no he participado. Cool, let's go to Christian. Okay. How, how much coffee do coffee do you drink every day? That's that sounds mm. like the question. The previous question. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo dijiste? How much coffee do you drink every day? Yes, every day I drink coffee. Okay, but how much? One cup, two cups, three cups. Um, one cup. One cup? Ah, but that's, 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 that's yeah. not that much. Okay, but that's okay. All right, great. No mucho, but that's okay. Regularly, in my case, I drink like six cups of coffee during the day, a normal day. That's good, man. Three? It keeps you, it keeps you awake. No, six. Six a day. A day. Mejor coquita la coquita. Six? Wow. <laughs> Eso es un nivel pro, teacher. Yo no más llego a tres. Ah, no. Y así mi doctor, así como que, you have to avoid coffee. Y así como que, nah. Coffee's the first thing. <laughs> All right. That's, 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 that's good. That's good. That's good. All right. So, Christian, read your question, Christian, and probably Walter is there and he will answer. Okay. Okay, Walter, how much how much stars are there in the sky? Uh, ¿cuánto tiempo veo el cielo? Okay. How mm. much stars are there in the sky? Okay. Un montón. <laughs> All right, though. so translate that into English. A montón. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. A lot of stars, right? A lot of stars. Okay, you're right. There you go. 
Thank you for the question, Christian. Now, Walter, read yours and uh, Sonia. Are you there, Sonia? Okay. All right, great. Walter, read the question and Sonia will answer. Okay, Sonia, how much that you are still working? No, comprendí. Repeat the question. How much? Time do you spend working? Okay. How much time do you spend working? ¿Cuánto I tiempo trabaja? Eight hours. Eight hours. Okay. All right. That's the normal, right? The regular time. <laughs> Okay, good. Okay, great. Thank you for the question, Mr. Now, Sonia, read yours. And uh, Elwin, did you participate that already, Elwin? Ya participó, Elwin. Gallego, no participado. Lionel, Lionel, Edwin. Ay, yeah, that's true, man. That's true. Okay, no, Edwin Ernesto, because Lionel creo que ya participó. No. Tampoco? Okay, you're next. All right, so first Edwin Ernesto and then Lionel, okay? So. Sonia? Teacher, continue. Yeah, 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 continue. ¿A quién me dijo, disculpe? Tu Edwin Ernesto. Edwin Ernesto, how much clothes do you closet work? <laughs> okay. Repeat, please. Repeat, please. How much? Repeat it. How much clothes do you closet work? Uh, in that case, it will be oh, that's, that's your closet. Close, close the ropa. Closet oh, oh, have. Yeah, yeah. Close, How much close, close, close does your closet have? That it will be the, the question. De guardar. Ah, guard. save. A word. Yeah. All right. ¿Cuánta ropa guarda en su closet? Oh, in my closet, I have a lot of a lot, uh, shirts, pants. A shoes. Shoes. Okay. I don't know. First of shoes. Oh, okay. So a lot. Good. So in my see. case, in my case, it's like like three pants. <laughs> like four uh, pairs. Uh, like like three pairs <laughs> of shoes. And that's it, brother. And like like six shirts. <laughs> in my case, I'm, I'm like super practical, shoes. brother. A lot of shoes. All right. Nah, man, I'm super practical on that. I don't have that much clothes. <laughs> okay. okay, great. Now, Edwin, let's ask your question to Lionel. Hey, my friend, amigo. Uh, Hi. Hey. Hello, hello. How, how much, how much money do you need for, for the bike that you? To buy shoes. How much money do you need for buy that shoes? Shoes. Yes. How much money do you need for for buy the shoes? Buy the shoes. ¿Cuánto dinero necesitas para comprar para los zapatos para para los shoes? A pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. Depends. <laughs> it depends on what? Depends. The price. 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 Le van a ofrecer unos super mega Nike en 20 dólares. Oh, the cheap, or the expense. Ah, oh, man, I got it. Ah, oh, man, that's funny. Nah, that's a book on... on uh... Aha, Lionel. You have an answer, brother. How much money do you need? Like twenty dollars, 
a hundred dollars or you're like more expensive like a hundred and fifty dollars exactly one hundred dollars okay okay there you go that's nice that's nice <laughs> Okay, good. Now that's that's great. That's great. I think the most expensive pair of shoes that I have bought is like sixty dollars. Hmm? Yeah, kind of like that. Not that much. Okay, great. I think. Creo, creo, creo que ya hemos. Alguien más me falta que participe. Creo que todos. All right. Oh. Yo, teacher. Karen. Okay. Leonel, can you ask Karen? Okay. Uh, Leonel, creo que, creo que tiene problemas con el micrófono. Se escucha bastante interferencia. That's like how much money do you need? Oil. Ah, how much oil do you need? Yes. aceite necesita? I need I need a little a little oil mm, okay a little oil a little oil some oil a lot of oil okay there you go thank you Lunar for the question now Karen can you please read your question y vamos a cerrar el ciclo de preguntas con Evelyn ask Evelyn porque Evelyn solo preguntó más no respondió Okay. Hi, Go. Evelyn. How much time do you spend time. on your cell phone? Ah, good question. How much time do you spend on your cell phone? No, I think. Uh, I pay, I pay, uh, I, I spend, I spend, I spend three hours, two, two five hours, two hours. Mm. Are you sure two hours? Segura que dos horas. <laughs> No sé por qué, pero sus compañeros así como que, hmm, como que está mintiendo. Dice. <laughs> ok, but if you say two hours, that's ok, all right? Vamos a creer, ok? That's good. All right. There you go. Now, guys, so basically that was a round of questions using how much. Remember, how much is mostly used with how, I mean, with uncountable nouns or those nouns that we cannot count them, okay? Now, let's start with how many. In what situations can we use how many? Acá, pues ya estamos hablando de lo opuesto, right? How many, it's like translated as cuantos o cuantas. Here's when we talk about countable nouns. Aquí, pues ya cuando hablamos de nombres que podemos contar, right? And this is the structure, guys. Y aquí tenemos la estructura. So take a look at this structure. You got how many plus countable noun plus do or does, depending if it is first or third person, plus the subject plus the main verb, right? So we got it like this. And we got a couple of questions in here. So take a look at the first question that we got. Uh, Isabel, help me reading the question, please. How many computers do you have? 
Okay, great. So you see, we got how many computers do you have? So generally, when we use how many, the noun has to be plural. Recuerden algo. Cuando hablamos o cuando preguntamos, más bien dicho, con how many, el nombre que usemos siempre tiene que ser plural. Tiene que estar en plural. Puesto que how many significa cuántos o cuántas, right? So it gotta be plural. So remember that. So thank you, Isabel, for, the, uh, for reading the question. Now let's take a look at the answer. So Jorge, help me reading the answer. I had three computers. Okay, there you go. Thank you. So you see, we answer with a countable now, right? Using numbers generally. Good. So take a look at this next question. Christian, help me reading, please. How many jobs do you need? Okay, great. Just like how many jobs do you need? Brenda, read the answer. I need to I need two jobs. Okay, there you go. I need two jobs. <laughs> like in my case. There you go. So it goes like that. All right. So remember, if you are using how many. The next word, uh, the, the, the noun that you got to use has to be plural, right? Plural, remember. Okay, great. Hasta acá vamos bien. Are you guys understanding this? Or do you have any question? Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta acá? Alguna duda? Ah, man, you're silent. Siempre message. que sea how many será en plural, dice, ¿verdad? Yeah, exactly. Básicamente, después de how many, todo nombre que coloquemos tiene que ser en plural. Puesto que how many es cuántos o cuántas. All right, so just kept that okay, on mind. thank you. All right, great. Now, take a look at the next question. Carla. Patricia, help me out reading, please. How many employees do, does your company have? Have. All right. Thank you. It says how many employees does your company have, right? Es como, ¿cuántos empleados tiene tu compañía, right? O empresa. Good. So, take a look at the answer, Paulina. It has 150 employees, okay. 150 employees. All right, there you go, 150 employees. Okay, thank you, Paulina. Veo que ha venido a informar, está uniformada con Christian, right? Pink alive, he says. Sí. <laughs> okay, good, good. There you go. All right, él me guys. copió, él me copió, yo la traía, ah, ya la tenía, así que... Ah. Yo me puse primero. Yo, yo pensé que venían de ver la película de Barbie. <laughs> Look at Christian's face. Así que la like, hell no. <laughs> ok. Ah, sí me dijeron el otro día que andaba una camisa igual así. Yo, like, vengo de trabajar. ¿Qué les pasa? <laughs> And I was like too tired. Ok. There you go. There you go. All right. So, let's remember in here. Si pueden observar la última pregunta, ya esa ya está con das. Entonces ya es una pregunta en singular. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de en sí la cantidad, ok, de empleados que tiene que la empresa, right? Entonces, ¿cuántas? It's just one. Entonces, por eso colocamos das y no do, right? So just keep that in mind, right? Ok, great. So I'm just going to show you guys this short structure because now I want we to move to the manual. And nada más les quería mostrar la estructura y un par de ejemplos usando how many y recordando que how many solo puede ser utilizado con nombres que podemos contar, right? Just with nouns that we can count. Entonces ahora bien, vamos a pasar al manual. I'm really interested uh, in we to finish a couple of activities that we got there. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing these. And if you got the manuals, guys, I would like you to open.
open the map on page 9. Y si tienen los manuales ahí, estando en una computadora, me gustaría que los abran y nos vayamos a la página 9. Page number 9. If not, I'm going to show it here. And specifically to this page, guys. Right? And let's go straight to the first activity that we got over here. It says, match the different features and product with its definitions compared with a partner, it says. Tenemos acá la, el vocabulario que estuvimos viendo en la diapositiva, right? Size, wave, price, dimensions, battery life, storage, function, and warranty. Okay? Now, I would like you guys to help me out matching, okay? The definition with the concept that we got over here. They are disorganized, of course. Pero me gustaría que me ayudaran a ordenar, all right? La definición con los conceptos que tenemos aquí. All right, con los, the, the vocabulary. So, if we got the word size, which one from A to H do you think is the definition of size? Size. Hmm? Which one do you think it is? Middle F. Right. F. A body's yes. relative mass or quantity contained by something? Hmm. <laughs> Let me see. On here. You said here, number one. No, okay. That's what it is. A body's relative mass for the quantity contained by something. Yeah, that is size. All right. Weight, what is that? Weight. Weight is when it refers to peso. Peso, right? What it is? Which letter do you think is weight? Letter A. Letter A. Yes. A letter F. A letter F. Why F? You see? Very interesting. If you got number two here. Letter F. Why do you think it's letter F? <laughs> ¿Creen que están al, re están al revés o están bien así? Para mí están al revés. Ok. Si leemos la literal A, ¿qué dice? Measurements or proportions of some kind. Medida o proporción de algún tipo. Ajá. Number one. Number one. Number one. Entonces están... Inverted, right? Okay, great. So let's change it. So let's write down here number one and let's cut here number two. Okay, good. Now, price. Which one do you think it comes with the word price? Let's remember that when we talk about price, we're talking about money, right? Letter. Letter G. Okay, great. All right? That's what it says. The amount of money required or pay for something, right? Good. What about dimensions? Letter E. Letter E. Okay, very good. That's number four. Okay. The space available for retention of something. Good. Battery life? Letter C. Letter C. Letter C, a measure of battery. Okay. Good. That's number five. Great. Great guys. A number six. Storage. Letter 
Larry, Larry, B. Letter B. No, 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 no. Are you sure, guys? No. I think several dimensions. Do you think it is okay? It says, listen. Letter H. H. Letter H. Are you sure? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it makes you think, right? Huh? Next. <laughs> Which one do you think it is, guys? Because storage, it says. Almacenamiento. Remember. Larry E is storage. Letter E is storage. Yeah. Do you guys agree with that? ¿Están de acuerdo yeah. con la número cuatro? Yeah. All right. Let's change it for number six. The space oh, available yeah. for retention of something. Ah, espacio. Okay. Disponible Letter D, para D number four. Letter, Letter D, D, number four. Ah, number okay. four. Okay. Let me see. Number four. Like this. Dimensions, okay, or magnitude. And uh, function? Letter H. Okay, letter H, that's number seven, function. And warranty? Number letter B. Letter B, all right, a promise to repair or play something within a period of time, right? So number eight, all right, good. So you got it less practical as this, guys. If you got it like that, right? Let's mark it. After done this, I am going to eliminate these things and let's go down. Now, let's go into the next one. Oops, oops. Okay. These ones are mostly for you to, to get. Dice. How many products does your workplace buy? En, su, en, en, en el lugar donde ustedes trabajan, ¿suelen comprar equipo, material, or something? Because it says, how many products does your workplace buy? ¿Cuántos productos compran? One product, two products, three products. Here is like the amount. We, ¿Nosotros? ¿Nosotros? Ajá. Nothing. <laughs> you don't buy products? Nothing about that? Okay. Entonces ahí podemos poner none, right? So we don't buy products. It says approximately how many units do they buy of it. Pero si no compran nada, right? No sabemos qué, cuántas unidades pueden ser. And how much money do you think they spend? ¿Cuánto dinero creen que gastan? Nothing, right? Because you said that you don't buy products. But, supongamos que no compramos. All right. So we can leave it like that. La que sí me interesa que hagamos es esta. That's in here. It says complete the following questions using how much and how many. ¿Por qué no vamos a leer esta parte? Pues básicamente es algo que ya vimos en la presentación. Right? So let's focus on this. It says... Complete the following questions using how much or how many. Va, les voy a dar un cierto tiempo para que las completemos. Recuerden, how much for uncountable nouns, how many for countable nouns, ¿ok? Let's complete it, please. Pueden hacerlo en su cuaderno si no tienen el manual a, a la mano, no pueden editar, ¿ok? Let's go, guys. And just let me know when you finish. Me lo hacen saber, no más termine, and we can check what you have.
if you have questions, you can ask, okay? Si tienen uh, dudas, pueden preguntar. How much money do you have? <laughs> yeah, I have two powerful dollars on my pocket to be spent tomorrow the holiday. What's up, Isabel? Are you sleepy? You you look tired, right? No, I am tired. <laughs> yeah, I mean I can tell. So everybody's tired. At least this group starts at seven and finishes at nine. Uh, por lo general, los grupos que he estado teniendo y he estado trabajando son de ocho a diez de la noche. So sometimes he estado así como que, ajá, guys, where are you about to finish? And I was like, yo también durmiendo. <laughs> oh, and it's complicated sometimes. Teacher. Yep. La segunda asistencia. Oh, yeah. Nomás terminemos, revisemos y la paso. Ok. Yeah. Yo creo just... que ya terminé. Ok. <laughs> Good. All right. Ok, great. Supongo que ya yes, los sí. demás igual terminaron. Right? So you have already finished. Just check this. Sí. And then I am going yes. to pass the attendance list. And that's going to be like everything. Ok. Great, because I see it. some of you are like super, right? Okay, great. Let's start with the first one. Ronald, could you please help me out reading number one? Uh, how many pieces do I need to assemble this? How many pieces? Okay, great. If you guys have it like this, it is okay. How many, right? How many pieces do I need to assemble these? ¿Cuántas piezas necesito para ensamblar esto? There you go. So this is the way how you got it. Number two, Paulina. How much do you think books cost? How many? Uh, Tanto uh, por los libros, los contables, libros, sí. Pero no sabía si se refería a los libros o el costo del dinero. Uh, vamos a ver. ¿Por cuál se decide? ¿How much or how many? How many. How much. Ah, how much. Estaba correcto al inicio. How much. Porque ahí está preguntando el precio. ¿Ok? No la cantidad de libros. Es el ah, precio. Vaya. That's what it is. How much. Ya, yeah, tenemos el verbo cost. Ahí, entonces, estamos preguntando la cantidad. Right? So how much? How much? Yeah, how much do these books cost? ¿Cuánto cuestan estos libros, right? Okay. All right, great. Uh, let me see. Vamos a preguntar a los que tienen la cámara apagada. Leonel, tell me a reading number three. Um, number three. How much? Is the battery life? Uh, how much is the computer? battery life on this computer? Do you guys agree? Están de acuerdo con esta uh, pregunta? Yes. Perfect. Yes. All right. Thank yes. you, Lionel. Yeah, it is correct. Okay, great. Now, the next one. Got it. Number four. Karen? Are you there, Karen? 
Ah, perdón, tenía el micrófono apagado. Ah, ok, a Eh, ver. how, how many? How many? Okay, that's correct because you got the word hours in there. How many hours? We charge it, right? Okay, excellent. Thank you. Brenda, number five, please. Um, how many? How many? How many? Mm, we're talking about how many money. money do you have? Mm, de hecho, la palabra money es incontable, Brenda. Aquí sería how much. ¿Cuánto dinero? Recuerden que en la palabra money ya ahí estamos hablando de algo que no podemos contar, right? Okay. All right. How much? Great. So, give me one second, guys. Give me one second. Okay. Great. Now, let's jump on to the next one and the last one. Diego, help me reading the last one and we finish with this. How many? Is it how much or how many? How many? How many? Okay, great. Yeah. How many? Mm -hmm. Alonso. How many? Does this need? All right. Very good. There you go, guys. Basically, all right. So this is what like uh, the whole you know, like topic about right. The uses of how much and how many. Tomorrow we will do a short feedback related to this. Well, mañana vamos a hacer un poquito back de esto. Okay, if nothing is clear, we're just gonna be checking on that. Okay, okay, great. Now I am go ahead and pass the attendance list, and that's going to be everything. Okay, so just give me a second. Selena, is it here? Okay, so it's not here. Cristian Eduardo. Present. All right, Christian, since Selena is not here, can you stay for a moment after class with me? Just for the feedback? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, Dennis Gerardo. Present. Okay, great. Diana Carolina. Diana, all right, so she is not here. Who is it? Okay. Diego Jose. Present. Okay, good. Edwin Ernesto. Edwin, you there? No, sí. Present. Okay, good. Edwin Leonel. Okay. Present. Okay, thank you. Evelyn Present. del Carmen. Present. Okay, nice. Griselda Jamilet. Here. Okay, great. Jorge Antonio. Present. Okay, Karen Lisset. Present. Okay, thank you. Carla Patricia. Present. Okay, nice. Luis Humberto. Present. Okay, great. Norma Jamilet. Present. Okay, nice. Paulina Olimpia. Present. Okay, nice. Ronald Ulises. Present. Okay, excellent. Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Excellent. Walter Enrique. Present. Okay, great. Wendy Beatriz. Present. Okay, great. Janira Isabel. Present. Okay, excellent. And the last one, Brenda Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Great. All right, guys, it was a pleasure to have you here on the first video conference of this module. I hope you have a wonderful 
night and let's see you tomorrow. Por favor, los que todavía no les aparece el módulo, me escriben al, al grupo para yo reportarlos, ¿ok? Con soporte para que les pueda aparecer ya mañana. Please. Buenas noches. Nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Bye, bye guys. Sí, ok. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow. Ok, see you. Good night. Bye, bye. So just give me a second. I'm gonna close them up and put them in the waiting room. Ok, great, Cristian. Bueno, como ya sabrá, básicamente este par de minutos es para, uh, digamos, aclarar cualquier duda que podamos tener con relación a la clase que hemos tenido, right? If you got any question with the, the topics, using how much, how many, right? or something with the platform. O si tenemos dudas, eh, consultas con relación a la plataforma, pues para eso es este espacio, ¿ok? Ok. Pues, es el primer día de clase, pues. <risa> ya, yeah, pues. bastante. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, y pues, ya estamos viendo algo que estamos repasando un poquito más de lo que, uh -huh. que habíamos visto anteriormente, ¿verdad? Exacto. Y exactly. pues, aunque es el, el tema que un poco me, me confunde un poquito, pero ya hoy más o menos le entendí otro poquito. Ah, ok. I mean, that's excellent. So basically, uh, you, you have understood what we were working on, right? So eh, supongo que sí, ya comprendí un poco cuál es la diferencia entre how much, how many, right? So let's remember eh, how much usamos con nombres que no podemos contar. How many it's like con nombres que sí podemos contar, right? Ok, sí, sí. Solo que en, en una en lo que estamos haciendo esto último, uh -huh. dijo que con dinero es incontable, dijo. La palabra, ya, yeah, es que la palabra dinero en sí, en general, cuando hablamos de dinero, no podemos decir como un dinero, dos dineros, tres dineros, right? So, entonces, en sí, la palabra money por ejemplo, todo lo que tenga que ver con money, la palabra en sí, money, es incontable. ¿Ves? Oops. Mm -hmm. Uncontable. Es incontable en sí. Lo que no es incontable es cuando mencionamos dollars. Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, por eso es que cuando referi nos referimos a precios de algo, no decimos how many, sino how much. For example, how much does your cell phone, for example, cost? Es como esta ya nos vamos guiando con la estructura que les di al principio. Como how much does your cell phone cost? O acá, si queremos ser más específicos, how much money does your cell phone cost? It's like, ¿cuánto dinero cuesta su celular? Right? Entonces, ahí, si podemos observar, money, ya estamos hablando de algo que no podemos contar. Sin embargo, en la respuesta, sí es contable. ¿Por qué? Porque ya estamos mencionando una cantidad y ya no decimos money, decimos dollars, que ya ahí sí es contable. Entonces, podemos decir it, haciendo referencia al celular, podemos sustituir la palabra cell phone por it. ¿Ok? It costs, como para decir cuesta, right? Economically speaking, podemos decir like what? Uh, for example, $500. So you see? It costs $500. Ah, cuesta $500. Entonces, ya es contable porque aquí ya no usamos money en la respuesta, sino dollars. Right? Entonces, creo que este es de las pocas... Es de las pocas que podemos hacer así. Preguntamos de manera incontable y respondemos de un modo contable. Ok. All right. Igual pasa con la mayoría de nombres que son incontables, pero que usamos alguna medida, o, o, por así decir, o volumen para responder. ¿Cómo así? Por ejemplo, podemos decir, how much milk, for example, 
do you drink? Es como, ¿cuánta leche bebes? Right? Entonces, la palabra milk es incontable en sí. ¿Ok? La leche es incontable. Ahora bien, uh -huh. pero en la respuesta la podemos contar. So we can make it contable, pero usando una medida. ¿Cómo así? Usted puede decir, I drink, ¿ok? A glass of milk. Es como, yo bebo un vaso de leche. ¿Sí ve? Ya esta palabra, a glass, la está haciendo ya como algo contable, ¿right? O I drink, si lo quiere hacer así, sin, sin dar una especificación, a lot of milk. Tomo mucha leche. So you see? Entonces, ya ahí no estamos usando una medida, pero sí estamos mencionando que tomamos bastante. ¿Ok? Good. Ahora, ¿podría darme un ejemplo usted de una pregunta? Um, how much... Eh, como ahora póngame un, un nombre que no, no se pueda contar cuánta hoja bota el árbol <ríe> ok how much leaves does the tree ok throw All right so you see How much leaves does the tree throw? That's like, ah, cuánta, cuánta hoja, right? Bota el árbol. Entonces acá, usted puede decir it, haciendo referencia al árbol, como es algo que no tiene vida, o algo inanimado, por así uh -huh. decirlo. Uno representa a una persona, podemos ponerlo con it. It throws a lot of leaves. You see? Ah, es como bota muchas hojas. Right? So this is like the way how you can get it. Right? Entonces es la manera en cómo nosotros okay. podemos responder. Right? Ok. Y recuerden sí. que ya cuando hablamos de, de cosas contables, right? Ya usamos how many. Solo que cuando usamos how many, la palabra que vamos a utilizar, el noun, tiene que ser plural. Aparte de ser contable, tiene que estar en forma plural. ¿Por qué? Porque si recuerda, how many significa cuántos o cuántas. Entonces, no podemos decir como, how many student do you have? Es como, ¿cuántos estudiantes tienes? Entonces, no, por obligación tiene que ser cuántos estudiantes. It has to be plural. Entonces, la palabra tiene que ser plural, right? Just to be countable. Right? Entonces, es okay. la forma en cómo los utilizamos, ¿ok? Sí. Ok, great. No sé si tenemos alguna otra duda, Cristian, con relación a la estructura. Ya la entendí un poquito bien. <risa> ya la entendí. <risa> okay. eh, ¿Tiene acceso a la plataforma? Eh, hoy en la tarde la probé y mm, pude entrar. Ah, ok, great. Entonces sí tiene acceso al, al, al... Ok, entonces sí tiene acceso al módulo. Ah, ok, great. Entonces básicamente eso sería todo, right? So, ya sé que está cansado, así que no lo voy a tener por mucho tiempo. Eh, solo resta decir que cualquier duda que usted pueda tener dentro de la clase, aunque yo esté explicando algo, si algo no está quedando claro... Eh, a mí me gusta que, que las cosas queden claras. Entonces, si algo no está claro, no, uh, I mean, no sienta pena o, o que yo voy a pensar mal o, 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 something, o reaccionar mal porque usted pregunta en el momento. No, a mí me gusta que todo vaya quedando claro y si algo, uh, I mean, you got a question, pregunte en el momento, ¿ok? Que igual le voy, a, le voy a saber explicar, ¿ok? Ah, you got the microphone off. <laughs> Gracias, teacher. Ok, great. Entonces, eso sería todo por esta noche, Cristian, y nos vemos mañana, ok? Good night. Bye, good night, teacher. Bye, right. bye. -bye.